Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. The CHP is investigating a hit and run driver that struck at least two vehicles overnight before he was hit and killed after getting out of his own car. The CHP says the suspect was driving a Plymouth Voyager north of Merle Haggard when he hit two other vehicles. The driver continued north before getting uh, hitting a big rig just south of Laredo Highway. Officials say the driver jumped out and ran across the 99 over the median and across the southbound lanes when he was struck by a passing big rig who died at the scene. The semi continued south on 99 without stopping. Alcohol and drugs are suspected in this crash. Anyone that saw this incident is being asked to call the CHP at 396-6600. Local law enforcement and city officials came together to shine a spotlight on an issue of concern here in Kern County today, that being human trafficking. It's National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, and January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer led a short ceremony this afternoon featuring police, the mayor, and other community leaders, all to share more about the issue and how they are addressing it. Also earlier today, Magdalene Hope joined other groups outside the state capitol for a presentation in opposition of Senate Bill 357. The legislation would prevent law enforcement from citing people for loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Advocates say the bill would prevent law enforcement from discriminating against marginalized communities. And those who oppose the bill say it will only make it harder for law enforcement to help trafficking victims. And once again, tracking the potential for some fog tonight. National Weather Service has issued a dense fog advisory for our valley communities until 11 a.m. for our Wednesday. So it's very likely going to be another foggy start to the day. But we should think, see things get a little bit better as we head through the forecast. That high pressure breaking down by Thursday. So that doesn't mean fog won't happen. It means it's less likely. So we're not going to include that fog chance. And even for our Wednesday, we've got some clouds that are moving in early uh, in the day that could help thin the fog. After that, though, it looks like we're staying in the 60s with just a 10% chance for rain for our mountain communities and valley communities on Monday, which is MLK Day. And gusty winds in the mountains Wednesday and Friday, too. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com